where do you see the quickest uh, and greatest potential uh, in decarbonisation? Is there one single area for our industry that you think we could make some quick gains with, perhaps biogenic CO2, for example, or, or hydrogen as a fuel? Okay, uh, thank you. A challenging question as well. Let me make a joke at the beginning and say uh, six months, one year ago, everybody was talking about green hydrogen, like this was the universal solution for everything. So that's fantastic. But right now we are having a, a special difficult situation. Unfortunately, due to the uh, Ukraine war, we are having negative effects, consequence of this, uh, of this war. That is shortage of natural gas, that is a I mean, it's essential for our industries, and at the same time, a, an increase of the cost of the natural gas as a consequence as well, the cost of production of power. So based on this, we are having a very negative uh, effect that is uh, probably you hear or you read about it, is affecting to some of the important industries in Europe, and some of them are announcing slowdowns or, or even shutdown of some plants. So uh, despite that we are focusing in several uh, areas, Right now, we are putting much more emphasis in two areas that we do believe that can contribute in order to try to mitigate this negative situation. That is very, very, very much related to the actual situation, to the actual scenario, but it's a reality and can, and can, and can be applied later. One is biomethane, value supply chain, and the other is transforming air-based combustion uh, process in oxy-fuel uh, combustion process. In, one, in, in the first one, we are talking more about replacing by a biogenic uh, fuel, and I will elaborate more later about it, uh, to replace part of the, of the natural gas with a very, by the way, very challenging uh, program from the European incentive, uh, incentivized from the European Union to replace, to replace uh, part of the natural gas by 2030 and so on. And the second one is essentially not to increase produ production or whatever, is to decrease the consumption of fossil fuel. In the case, a lot of customers of combustion are using natural gas from the grid, and in some in some countries there is the request from the government related to, hey guys, you need to reduce, as we will do, all of us, unfortunately, uh, hopefully not, but uh, during during the winter uh, to reduce the consumption of natural gas. Once I say that, let me talk a little bit more about uh, uh, biomethane. Biomethane for me is one of the typical example of uh, a circular economy. When we are putting one thing that is a waste, that most part of the time is a headache and is a cost for the company. So using the right technologies, we are able to transform this in uh, a valuable product like is the biomethane, creating additional income for the different stakeholders and at the same time working in the direction of, of decarbonization. So this is a, this is essential. From us as Nippon Gases, as Nippon Sanso Holding Group, uh, we are expert in, in, in all the process related to the production of biomethane. And uh, one thing that is important as well to mention is that we are putting the, the safety as priority number one in all this. So being, being, uh, being expert on this, we, we do believe that the biomethane can represent important value, not only for the production, but the biomethane by, for the use for the carbonization in some uh, customers and some end user. And I'm not talking only about mobility and I'm not talking only about injecting in the grid, that probably these are the more obvious situation. When we are talking about oxy combustion, uh, some people may have the, 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 the impression that we, we are talking just about putting oxygen in one furnace and that's all. And this is another mistake. I mean, oxy combustion requires a specific burner that is able to be adapted to the specific furnace characteristic, the material that is, that is using, the parameter of working, and, and, uh, and, uh, and this is essential. I mean, and uh, based on this, we are working in these two directions. We do believe that uh, these two um, these these two areas are very important for us, and of course they are having another an, another interaction with another thing like, uh, let's say, CO2 capture or whatever. And if I'm not for the, I'm not mistaken, you raised another two questions. What was about C, uh, biogenic CO2 that is coming from instant from biomethane or for waste incineration of biogenic products or whatever. And the other is about uh, hydrogen as a fuel. So let me, uh, for the biogenic CO2, we can have a separate session and we can uh, elaborate much more about it. But uh, I think that uh, we 
think that the biogenic CO2 can be an important contributor as well when it's used, because when you capture biogenic CO2, theoretically, is negative uh, carbon emissions, CO2 emissions, and use it as well to produce in building blocks or to producing another product that can, use in, can be using decarbonization can be a good help.